and she can be uh, or, uh, and it can be really painful uh, for you playing this uh, uh, casually or in spin running manner uh, just because of uh, if you die in there you should start all over there again I mean uh, you should start uh, the level f from from the start from the beginning so well it helps that if you skip your enemies the levels are pretty short but the boss fights can be a pain. So where is it? Okay. Found it. Need to restart in the Um And uh, uh, you, you will meet uh, and uh, you see some graphical artifacts in one or two missions, but uh, don't panic. It's normal for me, and uh, it's really difficult sometimes to, uh, to, to do not mess up uh, in the situation when you can't see uh, your HP or your amount of bombs. Uh, but uh, ju just feel, don't mind it. So I, I will try to be silent for more times, just because to, to be concentrated more in the game process. So uh, let's start uh, in the count of three. One, two, three, go. So here's the Ghost in the Shell. It's a pretty old game, but it's still very enjoyable. It has some good beats, so feel free to start please in chat. Uh, all up into, uh, I think, three categories. Uh, you can do some objectives on the kind of open world map. The next one is get from point A to point B on a highway or something, and the next is crawling through, through the vents, which is practically the last third of the game. The last level is a real pain in the ass. It's the only level you can die just falling in uh, in many places. You will see it. You know, it, it, it's a beautiful game, uh, it's really good action for PS1. Uh, the first boss, uh, it's ju just a joke, really. Here, uh, it's, a, it's a impossible that he uh, kill you. I apologize in advance for the robot voice, that will change before my run. Okay, uh, this is the first uh, graphical artifact you, you can see here. It started uh, not uh, a long time ago. Uh, I speedrun this game about a year. Uh, so, and these graphical matters uh, appeared uh, two or three months ago. I, I don't know what to do with it. Yeah, epilepsy warning. All the... Most of the bosses have optical camera thing, which has rainbow colors for some reason. <laughs> yeah. The boss is really a joke. You can just jump him. He only does his rotating laser thing. Uh, one interesting thing uh, in this game, there is a f uh, first uh, first person mode vision. You can activate it on select, but it's uh, not, so to say, uh, comfortable to play like this. It really isn't. You can cling on the walls and that can disorient you. Yeah. Uh, one of the most interesting features here, uh, this is uh, the possibility of uh, logi logicoma. Uh, of, uh, oh. I mean, his possibility to crawl in on all over surfaces. Oh, how to say, maybe. Yeah, that that sounds about right. So here we have one other boss. Uh, 
He can be difficult for the first time if you do not know his patterns, but uh, it's really easier than when you just uh, learn it. We, we can prov provocate him doing some patterns uh, which are really easy for us to dodge, so something like this. Ah. Yeah, actually, bosses in some later levels are a lot easier than this one. And now that I say it, he just does nothing. So, uh, in this mission, we should uh, destroy some barrels for a limited amount of time. It's really casual mission. Mm, it can be difficult for the first time just because you have uh, not a lot of time just to understand what's going on here and where is uh, where are these barrels. Also, it can be a bit frustrating for speedrunning because the targeting on the barrels it is a bit wonky with your main weapon, machine gun. It uh, works well with uh, target lock on with rockets, but. Your machine guns can actually miss sometimes, I've seen that a couple of times. Sometimes uh, uh, it's quite difficult to control Logicoma because of his uh, because of his uh, uh, so to say uh, position uh, on the stuff. It's difficult to describe how, how to control it really because uh, when you in a faster mode when you can uh, glide in on the surface uh, you can uh, so to say um, change uh, the surface. Your sting. Okay. A ball. And uh, uh, this is the boss yep. of the area, he, he's not really difficult also. Uh, he can glitch a bit, uh, for one time uh, he bumped uh, myself uh, in uh, its body and uh, it was difficult. He was, uh, uh, always damaged me like this and uh, it was horrible, I, uh, I just did not understand what's going on. Well, the first boss you have to actually strafe. I know, the, uh, the first boss to, uh, is the first. Well, you can it's not necessary, you can just jump, jump later. By the way, uh, th those barrels are bombs, so if you they de detonate uh, uh, one at a time, you just detonate them individually, it's totally fine. But if they go out all at once, it's mm -hmm. suddenly a mission over. Okay, we have no graphical artifact here. Uh, usually uh, we have it in this mission, but it's okay if you, if you have it right here. Okay, this is bad. It's not an auto scroll mission, it can be seemed like, uh, like one of this, um, but it's not. Yeah, first highway light missions. There will be flying metal gear race. <laughs> also, some guys will be trying to trip you. Yeah. Okay. 
We need to go to those ships to take some uh, HP and then uh, one, one bomb. So this is the boss, uh, there is some strats to kill him, uh, I just prefer uh, the more safer route uh, for this fight, uh, we need to destroy those two scooters, or what, what is it, uh, these two ships before fighting uh, the boss uh, himself. Uh, the risky strats involve ramming into the boss which can get you some extra DPS but you lose HP too, so... Yes. Uh, and these guys, uh, these two ships, uh, which uh, defend uh, the main ship, uh, they have um, let's see, uh, aimed rockets. Uh, homing rockets, yep. Uh -huh. Also, they give some extra time when you defeat them. Yes. I think that's the main reason. Also, it forces you to speedrun. Uh, this game forces you to speedrun itself because if you stop and try to shoot at every enemy, it just drains your HP naturally. So in this mission uh, we should fight uh, with uh, the enemy uh, who is the main boss here. Uh, fight for four or three times in different uh, area. Uh, so then he also has optical camera, so he is the cap right too. Yes, uh, and the uh, optical camera is a bit lagging here. You can see it like this, like a black. Uh, like square. Oh. It's not nice. I I, I for, uh, forgot to destroy the turrets. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy there. Yeah. Ah. I think this is the last mission on kind of an open space map. Oh yeah. I don't remember something. They were so aggressive today. Usually they are not. So this is a final stage of our fight 
we have to this boss. It's really to dodge. Uh, it's really easy to dodge his attacks. Now uh, he has lost his uh, arms and uh, uh, can only kick us. Okay. It's not a good time I see on my splits it will be all in red. <laughs> so. Uh, this is one of the hardest missions for the first plane because the boss of the air is a real monster. Uh, he has three phases and uh, we should be really well prepared for fighting him. And uh, sometimes in this area we can avoid some damage uh, and uh, this is it's bad for us, you know. You just should remember where uh, and uh, in which places uh, there, uh, there are some health, uh, I mean medkits, bombs and something like this. Practically, the, the further we go into the game, the harder it becomes to avoid the boss's attacks. Some of them are unavoidable. Um, later levels, mostly laser based. Mm -hmm. So, not getting shot on the way is the key, but it's hard. I hope I, I won't die here. Okay, I, uh, I take right now a big health pack. And I'm so happy. Okay. Taking some rockets in the face. We are good. Uh, the main problem, I cannot be faster here because I'm already gliding. Here we should take health back and the bomb. Yeah, we are good. We take uh, all. Uh, we took all fix, uh, things. Uh, we have to. So this is the boss. Uh, he, uh, as I said, have three stages. The first uh, is uh, guy. We should not use on him uh, our bombs. Uh, but uh, we will use uh, two of them on the next phase because uh, it was uh, uh, it is uh, the dangerous one. I yeah, I, I think the next, the second phase is the laser one, and you can, and you pretty much want to burn to that HP pretty yes, fast. Yes, uh, it just laser mechanics in this game. It's really freaking. Uh, because uh, and annoying uh, because uh, when laser is firing at you, uh, the longer he, uh, it do it is doing it, uh, you are taking the more damage uh, each second. So. Also, some of the next bosses it practically auto aims on you on first laser hits, so it's kind of unavoidable. Uh, okay, uh, this is one of the easiest missions also, uh, because here we should destroy some uh, laser weapons. It's only four targets, and uh, then we uh, face, uh, uh, so to say, a spider-like uh, robot. This is one of the skips. It's really beautiful, I, 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 I guess. Oh, but I'm lagging a bit. Okay.
Mighty, if uh, someone asks uh, some question in the chat, you can uh, reply if you want, I guess. Because uh, I don't know what to talk about right now. Well, I haven't watched the anime, so don't throw tomatoes at me. I can't answer a lot of related questions. I've just seen the speedrun. So the boss that is coming up, it actually uh, requires some jumping. Does, sh does some shock waves once in a while. But otherwise pretty easy, it doesn't differ that much from mission so 2, 3. is way more uh, difficult. Oh yeah, now the vent crawling begins and so it doesn't end until the last level. Here the way to the boss uh, is easy, but uh, the boss is not real. Uh, uh, he is really complicated, so I just take something here. Isn't, isn't this the boss that starts crawling on walls? Yes. Well, he also goes into camo when he starts calling on gold, but you can still target him uh, with your rockets. He just have no, uh, has no any, um, so to say, usual pattern. Uh, he can stand uh, all the way on the ground, uh, but sometimes he can just jump on the balls and uh, switch on uh, his camo. Well, there is answer to that, you can do the rockets when he goes on walls, when he tries to walk up to you and do that laser thing. It is actually, it gets pretty bad aim when he does that, so your best bet is just standing in front of him. Yes, because uh, when like... he, uh, he's firing uh, this uh, laser, uh, blue laser. Oh, he well, he's a good boy, I uh, uh, no. <laughs> Why I did say this? <laughs> now you should do Okay, I will be safe here. I just try my rockets. Ah, okay. In, in my opinion, so. pretty much the most random boss in the game. Yes. Not only him, but uh, one of the most, I guess. <gasps> okay, I'll lose my aim. Please don't kill me. We have only five missions to go. Uh, as I remember, this is the only mission uh, we have uh, uh, OB. Uh, it's uh, actually not a real OB, but uh, you just will see. I think this level has uh, bosses split in two, or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Your best bet is staying on the ceiling, but that takes some getting used to until at least you kill one of them. So in this there uh, area, there is no mm, boss, so to say. Uh, we have only um, so so to say it. Um, only task to destroy uh, eight uh, generators. Capsules. So, oh, it's this one, the laser one. Yes, yes. Ah. So, and uh, there will be some uh, lasers uh, following us uh, all the way. We are trying to fire at these capsules or generators. I don't know what is it. 
Blood bot mm -hmm. gets destroyed when you kill all the generators. Also, the grenade, uh, stock up on grenades because they help. You can fire one between uh, two generators and they both get damaged. It just has enough. And yes, you uh, can use your grenade to destroy some lasers and you will get more seconds uh, to fight you. Like me right now. All the time that in this boss it gets your HP down to zero danger close. Uh, then it... Now it left only two targets and uh, the... The center of the room trying to... Uh, uh, to get me uh, in it and when I... Uh, if I uh, touch this, this uh, center I take in damage a lot. This is one of the maze missions uh, and uh, it's really difficult for the first time uh, to understand where should I go. Like you said, pretty much amazing. Okay, uh, this is only uh, uh, the boss uh, which consists from two members, so uh, one of the guys use only uh, close range bombs, uh, another use only uh, long uh, and middle range bombs, they uh, reach uh, blows from um, some time later. So to render one of them useless, you can go and see Yes, them and uh, them uh, they there. have really a big amount of patterns. For example, they can use rockets. Uh, if you are trying to um, uh, be clever or, uh, so to say, uh, and uh, you're going to the... Uh, uh, as far as I remember, they don't have separate HP them. bars. Uh, on the ceiling, uh, uh, so then uh, we'll try to use rockets at you, and uh, there's this following rockets, and it's not a really good idea uh, to fight them on the ground, uh, is, uh, is a way more safer. Uh, and uh, so, when uh, uh, another pattern th then can use, uh, uh, but it's really, really rare. Uh, they can use it here melee weapon. It's uh, something like saber, saber sword, uh, laser sword. I don't know. Uh, well, uh, and uh, it damages a lot. If they touch it, uh, touch you, that uh, you will die uh, in most cases. Oh, uh, we'll see a lot of laser swords in mission twelve. Also, yeah, this game has great music. Shame if the levels don't last so long in speedrun. Yes, and it's possible, as I remember, uh, to buy uh, the compact disc uh, on Amazon or something like this. I mean, uh, original C soundtrack. CDs in 2K17.
But it, it's accessible only uh, in uh, physical version, uh, not uh, in digital. I don't know why. Okay. Here we are. Oh, that was pretty safe. Yes. Usually I have a really mm, minimal amount of health uh, at the end of this fight. On the previous fight, I mean. Okay, here. Mm. I think this is the level with the two-phase boss, which can attack you from the front and from the behind. Uh, because he has really powerful attacks, but he's kind of slow, so it also depends on his attack pattern, because he can just walk at you for good 10 to 15 seconds and just charge up his slow attack. Yes. You can just suck it in, because he doesn't have uh, enough speed to damage you to zero HP. idea is to kill him the faster uh, to kill his first phase the faster uh, as you I mean essay they said so as soon as possible uh, because oh, yeah. uh, he, he, he. what might yeah, he goes into the air phase I think is it time based yes uh, just because uh, when he ends his first form uh, he can do a lot of damage Okay, we are safe now. Well, he does a lot of damage anyways, but he's slow, and in second phase he becomes fast, and it's hard to hit. Okay. That was easy one. It's almost the end of the game. Now uh, we will meet uh, with uh, one of the difficult, <laughs> uh, the most difficult missions in the game. I mean, the hardest one. Okay, we have no any graphical artifacts on this run. It's it, it just you know. <laughs> yeah, you know, happened almost. Every time in practice. Really, uh, all my viewers can uh, just verify this. Uh, it, it, it's not normal. <laughs> okay. Uh, now we have one dangerous place to go. This is platforming area. The only platforming area in the game, and if we fall in, we just die and should start all over again. You get it. Okay, so we are good. We have full health! <laughs> LOL! This is LOL! This is unreally good. So, this is the last boss in the game. He bloody is cool. That's because, just... Watch it. Look, look at it. The strats are not to lose much HP on the first phase, because when you transition into the falling state, you can just stay in place and shoot him down. That yeah. will be time. And you can just soak all of the damage, so if you have like a half HP or a bit less, that should be enough. But he likes to teleport a lot. Mm -hmm. 
First time, guys. First time. The last phase. You should not do anything. Just, uh, uh, so to say, just put in uh, your uh, LED, uh, L1, <laughs> L1 button and fire it. Also, the time is coming up. So, time! Yes! Yes, guys, thank you for, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you. Uh, I, I would like to thank uh, Mighty for co-commentating me. So, I... Uh, no really problem. Pleased. That was a pretty good run because it was better than most of the practice ones. Yeah. As you painted in a bunch. What's the time, guys? By the way. Let's see. 34-23 Okay Okay That's not good, but that's not bad My PB is about 30, min uh, 30 minutes tall